Exactly. Yeah, for something. Okay, our next restaurant comes to us from the gentleman on the left, State Senator Barack Obama. He recommends some southern cooking in a spot spiced up with flea market finds and family heirlooms. It's in Hyde Park, and it's called Dixie Kitchen and Bait Shop. We did a lot of traveling around the South, and we saw that there were a lot of wonderful food prices that were not maybe written up in newspapers, but had a lot of customers and a lot of locals. They were on the side of the road. They maybe not sold bait, like Dixie Kitchen and Bait Shop, but they might have sold t-shirts. They might have sold gasoline. And then what they had in the back might have been some wonderful food. It might have been egg salad sandwiches. It might have been gumbo. It could have been many things. So we put southern food because of the diversity of the neighborhood. And we felt that this provided the food options and the money options and also the kind of unusual choices that people could, could pick from. We just try and take the best of what we found south of the Mason-Dixon line and put it on the menu. So, Barack, it looks like they serve some liberal portions there. You know, the, uh, that is one of the things that I like about this place. Uh, uh, the prices are right and the portions are good. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's, it has done booming business in uh, the Hyde Park area, attracting people from all throughout the south side uh, since it opened, which it hasn't been that long, I think maybe four or five mm -hmm. years. Uh, but it really, I think, represents uh, the kind of neighborhood restaurant that every neighborhood should have. People feel comfortable going there. They take their families there. Um, you know, you know that you're going to get a good value uh, for the money. Uh, it's become so popular now on the south side that uh, a lot of times There's if you get there too late, when you go you, in there. You, you, you're, you're going to be waiting for a while, working up an appetite. Now, Kevin, did you have to wait when you went in there? No, we, wa we walked in. There was a lot of people, and um, the hostess was very nice. She, hello, how you doing? I'll be with you in a minute. They sat us down, and uh, it was it was very nice. We walked in. It was comfortable. And, I liked it. I liked it a lot. I didn't expect to like it. I thought it'd be a long ride and get down there, and I didn't. I didn't know what I was in for, but I walked in. I was very happy. Yeah. Now, Karen, did you also feel it was a good value for the portion that you received? Oh yeah, I had an awesome meal there. I had the blackened catfish, and I must say it was some of the best that I've ever had. Although the side dishes that they and they give you copious amounts of food, but the side dishes, black eyed peas were okay, the slaw, celery seed, a little too sweet for me, and the greens a little soggy, but you know, it didn't matter because with the cornbread and the blackened catfish and my Abita beer that you can't find up here in Chicago, I was there. What about you at Dixie Kitchen, Barack? You know, I ordered the southern sampler just because I, I couldn't make up my mind. <laughs> uh, since, as I said, I, you know, I eat there quite a bit. So you know, I, I wasn't sure what I was in the mood for. I said, well, you just bring me a little, a little, little, little something. That, you know, it's not um, gourmet cuisine, uh, but that's not why I go to Dixie Kitchen. You know, uh, I, I'm not looking uh, for uh, uh, some fancy presentation or, you know, extraordinarily subtle flavors. I mean, what I'm looking for is food that tastes good uh, for a good price. And they're uh, serving a lot of people are coming through the doors exactly. there. Yeah. I got there just in the nick of the time right. and it was crowded. Right. And what about your meal there? You started out with the fried green tomatoes. I had the fried green tomatoes and we followed up with uh, the shrimp and we had to peel it. It was excellent. It was nice and spicy. It really it opened up your mouth and then uh, I had the blackened uh, chicken which I thought was fantastic. As Karen said, the flavor was perfect. It wasn't too spicy. It was, it was nice. And uh, my date had uh, chicken fried steak, mm -hmm. which I've never had before, and I had some of that, and that was pretty good. So uh, from beginning to end, it was a new experience, and I enjoyed it. And like Brock said, it's it's a great deal for the, the value for the money. I mean, it's you get excellent portions, right. and it's excellent food. Yeah, and I think people really look for that when they go out. I think they look for, you know, where can they get a great value? And, you know, I price could be, you know, 5 8 10 even $20, but it's, it's what you're perceiving as the value of what you're getting. Uh, as I mentioned before with kids, boy, that becomes a factor. 
you know, and I only, we only have two. I can imagine families with, you know, five or six kids. Boy, yeah, I'm going to look at that menu. <laughs> I'm going to look at that menu pretty carefully. Yeah. And uh, so Dixie Kitchen, I think, is a good option for people. And like when you go to some Mexican restaurants, they'll greet you with chips and salsa. Here I was greeted with corn cakes, and I thought that that was such a welcome greeting. Like, sit down, here's a little something. Although, although those are pretty dangerous, because you can fill up on those. <laughs> yeah, 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 right. You know, you have about three or four of those pancakes and suddenly <laughs> you're sitting back uh, so so I've I, I've learned from my uh, some past mistakes you know that I've got to careful I've got to be cautious Just I do have to put in a plug for their uh, their peach cobbler which really? uh, which uh, people see if uh, I would lay tend off to those gobble up cakes pretty when good. I set them on the table maybe I'd have some room for some that's peach the problem cobbler, those Johnny cakes it. you know they'll get you early and then you won't have time you know room for the for the peach cobbler I but, saw the peach cobbler when I was ordering and I said oh I'm gonna get that and by the time dessert came there was no room left. You couldn't do it? No there was no room. And you know one thing that I just wanted to add about uh, this restaurant you know it also goes to show how I think a lot of neighborhoods particularly Hyde Park yeah, uh, and the surrounding area is are communities that a lot of times are starved for, you know, restaurants, retailers. So much of stuff concentrates um, downtown and in the loop, and particularly in the south side. Sometimes we don't have the same number of options that some of the north and the side neighborhoods do, like Lincoln Park or sure. Bucktown. Um, and uh, you know, so restaurant tours who are out there just want to let you know if you give good value. <laughs> and you're not too expensive, that in fact you can do some good business out on the south side of Chicago. Yeah. We're, we're glad to have it since it's in my uh, legislative district. It's you your know. district, huh? I, you know, I like to see Are you our campaigning small business for Dixie owners, Kitchen? No, you know, I, I want to see our small business owners uh, succeeding out there. Great. Well, Barack, this place gets your vote, so give us a summary of it. Gives it a, a, a terrific value, uh, uh, savory, tasty food uh, for a good price, uh, and a nice family uh, atmosphere. So I, I think everybody will enjoy it. Okay. And Kevin, for you? I thought it was excellent. I, I tried new things I hadn't tried before, and I enjoyed them. And Karen, for you? I thought it was great southern food. The blackened catfish was absolutely wonderful. Uh, friendly wait staff, cute, kitschy atmosphere, and definitely a good value for your money. Well, you can find Dixie Kitchen and Bait Shop at 5225 South Harper Avenue, 773-363-4943 in Hyde Park. They serve lunch and dinner seven days a week, and the average dinner tab without drinks is about $10 to $12 a person.